People are there on it. Acha Murli, you are attending online. So how was your test with the No, no, you had test right this Monday, right? Today you had test right. How was it? That's right. You are test today? How was it? Medium. What is medium? No, how was your Pretty tough for you. For you. Why uh, the steps and functions like that, right? No sure. Probability also in there. Probability? Yeah, yeah. It's why probability? I, I don't get Okay. So Shakti, you are also here. <coughs> Vashini is, right? Vashini, what happened to her? Ah, biology? Vishal Babu? Okay. Achha, so, uh, when I came, you were not wearing mask. What happened? Why you? Okay. Uh, where is one more guy? That, uh, what's his name? Shah. What happened to him? Absent. I don't understand why you guys are absent. Is it, is it like something is? Why you are sitting there? You, you, you want to feel like you are doing that, right? You can sit there or if you want, you can come here. I'll choose that place. Okay. Achha. These people are there on them. Okay. But achha, we, we had class on my laptop no, last week. Online. So online classes. <laughs> Nobody was responding, right? Ah, you responded. <laughs> you. That's not called responding, by the way, okay? Huh? You got last week. We started with the chit chat. Why is it so hot in here? I don't get it. Oh, it was actually raining, So, because of that, humidity increased. Anyway, so we were studying trigonometry, right? So I did a Done. Talking finished. You want some more time? Osal? Yeah, I know you are not. Are you sitting there? Okay. Just give me a moment. So today we'll start trigonometric functions, identity, and equations. <clears throat> write down why you are waiting for me to write. Where is your notebook? This is your notebook. How come it is so filled? Trigonometric identity functions and equations. <coughs> what do you mean by identity? Huh? Anyone? What do you mean by identity? 
the english definition of idea something that is a difficulty it is not that very particular anyone knows true value have value what 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 do you mean by identity what's your identity you have a id card right identity card that you have isn't it that that only belongs to you and in all conditions that your id card is valid right at least if it's a government id card but means it is valid uh, valid everywhere in india right if it's your passport it's valid everywhere in the world isn't it ha huh? yes you are getting it that's what the meaning of identity is that for repeat it for all values of and i said that is you know not in general it is valid everywhere for all um, what what i can say precisely no, everywhere in the country this like i just give you the example of passport and your uh, maybe your aadhar card that is valid all over india right so like that that is identity and first before that before we move into identity first let's understand trigonometry function okay what are the signs of trigonometric functions and all these signs so trigonometric i think uh, they have finished in your school hopefully in your school your school it is social are you no No, we have to follow certain you no know, order. Otherwise, I am a random person. Uh, start trigonometry. I'll start teaching the functions, and I'll suddenly go into quadratics. That's me. And I have been told that you should go in order. So uh, let's start with trigonometry functions. Angles, lines, and angles. Hopefully, everything is clear. You can uh, represent angles on a piece of paper. By the way, those angles. Uh, can anyone explain me how an angle is formed? Just a simple explanation. Right? So, okay, two means two lines intersect, right? And two lines should be on same plane, right? Of course, if it's a two line, it can it will be on same plane. Like, okay, I'll just give example. So suppose. You you can orient uh, you can change the orientation, but again it will be on same plane. Right? If you have three lines, then it cannot be on same plane. Isn't it? Are you getting it? No. Okay. Uh, what, what is this? This, this is a plane, right? This board or this wall is a plane. You can say okay, this line is on this plane. Okay. Now let's say this is uh, another line. Okay, it is on this plane. Now I'm changing the orientation. Is it on same plane both the lines? No, right? But these two lines, we can go. If we can locate it, it can be on same plane. Now you are not not. But if there are three lines, it cannot be on same plane. It may or may not. Right? Getting it? Huh? <clears throat> so uh, lines and that means lines and angles. What is three seventy degrees? How do you represent three seventy degrees? Huh? Can anyone represent three seventy degrees in your mind? Do it, Ashwin. Right? Do it. Three seventy degrees. See, before we move into <laughs> trigonometric functions, identity questions, this these ideas should be clear. What uh, and what an angle is. And whenever two lines will intersect, the uh, there will be, and it will be on an angle. Or if suppose you have one single line, okay, and you rotate this line, okay. Now this was the initial position of the line, right? and this will be the final position of the line. So there will be what the initial. Yes, this is the root of this line. Okay, people, those who are online, I suppose I have to explain it to you also. Now suppose this is a line, right? I'm 
Now, so this is the line, okay. And suppose this is <coughs> the radius is r. If I if I rotate this line, okay, the, the, the function is not available in this tab. So uh, if we rotate this line, let's say like here. And we have already explained this is the initial line, right? And this is terminal line, right? Or plane, whatever, both, both are uh, correct, okay? So this is your terminal line and this is your initial line. Fine. Now you see the root of these two lines are same. The root is same for these two lines. And that's it. But the tip is different. Tip here is that A and the tip here is that some, some point B. If the roots are joined, now you see there is a separation between the what, tip. Those separate, these separation uh, can be represented by angle. And it will form an arc. Of course, if it will form and this, the length from here to here, it is called arc. Arc length, that's what we have seen in previous classes, right? We have done these things, right? Yes or no? See, that's what you guys do. This, whenever we are online, you'll be shaking your head. You don't know, I cannot, I cannot see any of it. And nobody turned on their camera, except for this guy. No one, I don't know why. I have camera problem, fine, get it. What happened to you? You were there, you were present in class. Varshini, um, Varshini is not here, no, in class. Is she here? No, right? Okay. See, do, oh, those who are online, please don't be absent. So th this is the angle, theta. It, you can represent it by alpha, beta, gamma, anything. See, the, uh, the understanding of this angle is very important. So that we can understand trigonometric functions. I have already covered this angle, lines and angles. If you guys, any of you have any problem, let me know, we'll clarify it. Yes. Angles are low. All clear? You are drinking too much Sprite. Anyway, so we'll start with trigonometric functions. Achha, I won't write complete. Okay, so trigonometric functions will start. What are the trigonometric functions that we know of? <coughs> that you guys have already studied in the exam, right? All the six trigonometric functions. See, in this, uh, I'll just give you, some, uh, at the end, I'll give you some idea of inverse functions. A inverse trigonometric function, but we are not going to study about those functions. So it's standard or maybe in some other class if we have some extra class if you have doubt in that. Okay, so now let's first, as usual, let's draw the plane. What plane is this? X like yeah, Cartesian plane. You can write x y plane Cartesian plane. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. What for? So coordinate is the point. Okay. If there is a point here, now this is called a coordinate. Okay, we will come to it. Okay. Okay, we'll start from there. Let's say now there is a point. Okay, and let's draw a line from the origin to this point. Okay, let's draw a line. Now let's say this the length of this line is r. This point represent p. Now, uh, what will be the coordinate of p? Zero comma. What will be the coordinate of p? There, there. Coordinate. You know how to write coordinate, right? Like if it is one, and this is two, so you'll write one. So like that, I'm asking what is the coordinate of P? Yeah, biology. Okay. So first we need to, uh, in general, if, if it's not given, okay, and we are trying to understand uh, something on X, Y, P. So we'll just write it X comma Y, because you take this point anywhere in this coordinate. In this plane, you take this point anywhere. We can always represent it by x comma y, right? Huh? Ashwin, is that fine? You're getting it. What? Okay. 
take off this one. Take it off and use your mouse. So if I'm writing this point x comma y, biology, what happened? Headache. Huh? Brightness. What? Shall we switch off that light? What is so bright? This one. Where is it? Turn it off. Turn this off. Maybe just turn this off. Now, uh, Ashwin, you tell me how much is this from here to here? How much is this? Anyone online? No, not this one. Rather, so just turn it off. Let's see which one is that. The side. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> You should be comfortable. Otherwise, so everything will be Acha, what what is this? How much will be this? Anyone online? You are online. Online. Uh, DAV, what, DAV, what how much is this? So one second, sir. Calculator. Yes, anyone? Sunshine. Don't know, sir. So, are, this is X now. We have represented this. Like that, sir. Yes, okay, now I understood. Sir. Now you got it. Uh, after yes, writing, everyone is. gets it. So this is X, this is Y. Okay. Now, if you remember, in your 10th standard also, you have you have had that tri uh, triangle and from right angle to triangle. And from there, we, <laughs> you guys have studied all the trigonometric functions. <laughs> okay. So that's what you have done. We'll do the same thing here. Now, uh, if, let's say, if this R, if, if, if we superimpose this R, this R on the X, where it will come, how much will be? Is R greater than X or less than X? Can anyone tell us? Just see that triangle. Tell me R, if R is, Ashwin, how? Ashwin, how it, why R is greater than X and Y? Just see here, you know this. See here, not me. Roshan, why R is greater than X and Y? Yes, it's the hypotenuse. And hypotenuse is the largest size. Okay, Ari, you're getting it? <coughs> that means if, if we have to draw a circle, so R will come somewhere around here, right? So this is the length R. What will the coordinate, if let's say if this point is Q, what will be the coordinate of Q, Ashwin? What will be the coordinate of Q? Q is on x-axis. That means Y value will be zero, okay? And how much is the length? R, okay? So the coordinate of point Q is R, zero. So far it's, it's very easy, right? We have studied this so many times. <clears throat> now let's say this angle, what do you want this angle to be? Theta or anything? You just, we can write anything. What do you like the most? Whom do you like the most? Theta. Theta has got attention of people. So theta. Let's say this angle is theta, that means this line OP, OP makes an angle theta with x axis. And which direction is this? Wait, Roshan, which direction is this angle? See, from x axis, we have studied lines and angles, right? So we always measure angles from x axis. Now it is in which direction, clockwise or anticlockwise? Just see here. See, this, this is the initial position. This is the final position. This direction is counterclockwise, right? So this will be positive. We know counterclockwise direction is positive, and clockwise direction is negative. That's what we consider in mathematics. Okay. <coughs> now, and of course, if 
how much what will be this one? Ashwin, how much is the number? It will be 90 degree, right? Because it's a straight line, it's a perpendicular on x axis. So it will be a 90 degree. Now you have the triangle. You have the triangle, triangle O, P, and let's say this point. Huh? And four theta. I don't get it. Just uh, you tell me. No? This is I'm just representing the direction. Okay. So yeah, this 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 is counterclockwise direction. Fine, Ashwin. Hopefully everyone can understand. <clears throat> okay. Now from here we know sine theta. We have six trigonometric functions, right? So first one is sine, okay? And sine itself is nothing. It's just an operator. It, it must have an angle because what is trigonometry? We study the relation between lights and angle. That's what trigonometry is. That's why we use trigonometry, okay? Later we will, uh, you know, extrapolate it to, uh, uh, from lines to planes and the 3D geometries. But again, always, it, there will always be lines and angles whenever trigonometry is important. Okay. So <clears throat> this is sine, S I N E, sine. Sine is an operator. Okay. Or we can say a function, like, like a function we have, a modulus function we have we studied, right? If you give any input, you'll get some positive output. The A either the input is negative or positive. Similarly, sine is a operator or a function. Okay. And it is always used with an angle. That is, uh, let me write uh, it as angle. Okay, sine with angle will always use uh, use like this. This any trigonometric function. Okay, that's how that's how we are going to use trigonometric function all the time. Now, let's define sine. So sine, and in short, we write S I N and uh, sine of theta. We read it as like sine of angle. Okay, so we read it as sine. Uh, either you can say sine theta or sine of angle theta. Okay, so hopefully these things so everyone know. Agoshal. Okay, <clears throat> so sine theta. How do we represent sine theta? Right, uh, because it's a relation between what lines and angles. Okay, so this is x. Now from this triangle, you tell me what is sine theta? Oh. Perpendicular by hypotenuse, right? Which one is perpendicular? Y by R. So it will be Y by R. I, th I thought you guys know this. You have studied in 10th standard. So I'm just Keeping one or two points, hopefully that is fine. <clears throat> okay, sine theta is y upon. Anybody is having any doubt here so far? Similarly, we have another function that is cosine theta of theta, cosine of the angle. So this is the first one. Second one is cosine theta. So, okay. <clears throat> now see this triangle. How can we? It is based upon hypotenuse. What is base? Here? X is base. See, if suppose, if we are taking this angle alpha, now which one is the base? If I am writing cos of alpha, then base will be this one. See, base is on which the angle stands. That is the base. Nidhi, you are getting it? Agoshal, Hari, Ashwin. Okay, so hopefully you guys know this. Uh, so I'll just skip and I'll write cos theta is x upon r. That is Base upon hypotenuse. Okay. Now, what is the third trigonometric function that we know of? Tangent, right? So, in short, we write tan, tan of theta, and that is equal to perpendicular upon base. Okay. So, this is y upon x. Got it? So, this from this triangle, we can write the uh, basically these three sine, cos, and tan. We can represent like this. Okay, this is the definition, so you cannot say why it is like this. See, there, there, are, there is a definition of people, right? 
we have we have our own definition right what is the definition of ashwin we have two eyes that to tau also we don't have a tail right okay so it is defined like this <clears throat> anyway now we have other three other three functions other three trigonometric functions that is cosine cosine is cos on the arc Right. So I'll just write it here. Uh, see, you should have a very good grip over these three functions. If you know these three functions thoroughly or properly, or the other three functions, you can you, you know you can manage at any time. Okay, that's why these three functions are really important. Trigonometric function. It's not like other functions are not, but these are the important. According to me, I'm just. Uh, I'll just so the third function that we are going to see. Okay, sorry, sorry. Four. I'm sorry, sir. Fourth function will be now opposite. So cosec, cosec of theta, cosecant. Okay, and this is equal to what? One upon yeah, one upon sine of theta, and you just one upon sine theta. You can just write the reciprocal of this. That is r upon y. Similarly, you have Secant, so sec theta, that is equal to one upon cos theta, and that is equal to what? Okay, and and then last one is cot, that is one upon tan theta, that is equal to x upon y. Okay, all right. Hopefully, no problem so far. It's very easy. You have studied these things all the time. See, lines and angles are really important. So you just go back and <coughs> study it one more time. <coughs> just try to represent all the angles. Try to see how to convert from you know decimal to radian. Sorry, uh, degrees to radian, radius to degrees. Okay, Angushal, you have any doubt? So why you are raising your hand? Sorry, you can do that. No, no. <coughs> Clear? Now. <clears throat> Let's understand now. See if 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 r is equal to one. If so, now we can draw a circle also. No, here this will not zoom in. Anyway, so uh, let's draw a circle over. Here, okay, let's try to draw. Circle. What happened? Why it is not working? Oh. What is the radius of the circle? Louder. R is the radius of circle. Now, if R is equal to one, can we say this as unit circle? Right? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. If R is equal to one, that means <coughs> this is called unit circle. Now, why do we have to put R is equal to one? Because we are going to examine these six uh, trigonometric functions. Okay, you are using the unit set. How we can represent it? <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, okay. Before we move move into this topic, let's first see the sign of the the sign that means S I G N sign, not S I N sign. Okay. The sign of sign convention. What we I can say sign convention of this trigonometric function. Is that okay? Shall we go with that? And after that, that will explore that unit circle. Okay. So uh, now uh, let's draw. This is x. This is y. And again, this was at r point p, which represents x y. Okay. This. Now tell me. Now we all know this. Uh, X is positive here. Y is also positive here. Fine. Now if P suppose P was here, let's say P dash. Okay. So <clears throat> what will be the sign? X is positive or negative? As well, X is positive or negative? Why? Why? Yeah, here, here, not. 
सकती है वाई एक्सिस नेगेटिव लाउडर वाई इज एक्स नेगेटिव इट्स इन द लेफ्ट ओके विल गो अहेड सो दिस इज दिस इज जीरो जीरो राइट दैट मीन्स एक्स इज ऑल्सो जीरो वाई इज ऑल्सो जीरो इन इन दिस साइड to the right side of this origin x is always positive this side is negative okay so this is negative positive this side is what 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 is this side x positive or negative ha huh? positive and y negative why is x positive why is y negative I think y is negative in the downside. This point is below this axis, so y is negative. This point is again to the left of uh, this origin, so again x is also negative. So this is negative, negative. If suppose p was here, let's say this. So this, what is the sign? Positive, negative. X is positive, y is negative. So far everything is good. Now tell me, this is our first quadrant. This is second, third, and fourth quadrant, right? So in first quadrant, Bhushal, you tell me which all are positive in the six or six trigonometric functions that we know of. Which all are positive? Every why? Okay, all are positive. And in second quadrant, third quadrant. Why? I just want to know why. Why it is positive or negative? Why all others are negative? You, you do you know why all others are negative? Take off this. Is it? Why do you know why it is negative? Why is like she said? Now you in second quadrant sine and Tamba, Tamba, Madam, Tamba. Why in second quadrant only sine and cosec, uh, cosec, right, are positive? Why? I want to know that. And all four uh, functions are negative. Why is that? Um, all R is only positive. Okay. Yes, that's the reason. Got it. See here, we have written in terms of r x y, right? Is it it? Now in second quadrant, x is negative. Second quadrant, x is negative. R is the magnitude. Now it is always positive. R cannot be negative. Didi, you're getting it. Okay. So wherever x in second quadrant, x is negative. So that means in second quadrant, cos will be negative. Where else? What else? Tan. Tan is y upon x. Y is positive, but x is negative. So positive upon negative is what? Negative. Same thing with cosec and sec and cot. Now cosec it's r upon y. Y is positive, right? So it will be positive in second quadrant. Got it? So is 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 that relation? So here, because x and y. All are positive. R is always positive. Okay, R is always positive. Understood? Because it's the magnitude we are doing of R vector. It is actually R vector. I just we haven't studied vector, so I don't want to write like that. What physics? You have studied that in physics. Good. Huh? Now you are studying. So in first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive, right? I'm not going to write it. Down. I'll just write all, and this should be there in your what? Write down all trigonometric functions in first quadrant is positive. Write down what? What are you looking at? Write down properly in a statement. See there. those who are online online hopefully you guys are getting now see 
before we move move to second quadrant let's observe the first quadrant first okay now what what angle is this um what is the angle right this this is the angle theta in this direction if you are moving this is angle theta that means at x this is 0 degree right and from 0 degree we are moving to what 90 degree okay here it is 90 degree now yes or no this hangs a lot anyway so this is 90 degree fine so in between 0 to 90 degree you have studied few angles right like 30 degree 45 degree those angles you have studied right you guys have studied those angles and all those angles are what you are getting all always you are getting positive angle right you have not, never written a negative value of sin theta or cos theta or any triple angle till now right till now you haven't studied any uh, so so that's why all trigonometric functions all trigonometric functions are positive in first quadrant got it <coughs> so in uh, right on again the next question right on in first quadrant that means in between 0 and 90 degree all the trigonometric functions will the value of all the trigonometric functions will be positive right on that the value of all the trigonometric functions Okay, now in this first quadrant, do we know how to find the values of sine, cost, and all the trigonometric functions? So let's, because we are exploring this first quadrant, so first let's get, uh, let's remember 10 standard, which we haven't studied yet properly. Let's understand that. Okay, so we have, so we, we have studied about few angles, that is zero degree. Okay, so this is theta, zero degree, and sorry, my mistake. Zero degree, thirty degree. What else? Forty-five degree. Again, sixty degree and ninety degree. These angles we have studied in degrees, right? Now, can we write these angles in radians? We can write, right? We have studied this. How to convert? Goshal, how much is zero degree in radians? Zero degree. Acha, how do you convert? How do you convert uh, degree into radian? Pi radian is equal to 180, right? That's what we have studied. Okay, so zero, uh, zero degree is equal to how many radians? Sorry? Zero degree is equal to how many radians? Huh? Ashwin? No idea. No idea. Okay. Gushal, why is it? See, anything you multiply by zero, it will be zero. No? It will remain zero. See, if there is no angle, the angle is what? What is the angle? This is your initial line, right? I hate this tablet. This is your, this is your initial line. And again, this final line is also in uh, a superimposed. It, it coincides with that initial line. So there is no angle at all, right? So there is, uh, it has to have some, right? It has to move a little bit so that you can get an angle, right? Whether it is in radian or in, in what? In degree. These are just two methods of measuring angles. There is another method, but which is, which is not needed. So that's why I haven't discussed that method. And hopefully you will, you won't be learning that method at all, even in your graduation also. So zero degree is zero radian. Okay, 30 degrees is how many radians? Anyone? Huh? Five by six? Ashwin? Don't know. Do you study in home? Do you? No. Hari, five by six. Hari, tell me 45, five by six. 45 degree? Hari, 45 degree how much? See, the moment I asked you guys were like, 
It should be there on your left. Huh? Mushal? Mushal? Again. 5 by 4. Mushal, you tell me 16. 5 by 3. Are you sure? Do it again. Let's see. Not 5 by 2. 5 by 3. Is this correct? Is it? 90? 5 by 2. Okay. So these are the angles that we have studied from 0 to 90 degree. And we have seen all the trigonometric functions. Either you take 15 degree, 17.5 degree or 18.32 degree or in radian. If you convert that in radian, all will remain positive. It will not be negative at all. Okay. So let's write down uh, the trigonometric functions here. The first trigonometric function that we are going to use is sine of theta. See, it, it has to have an angle. If you just write sine, there is no meaning of it. No meaning at all. Okay? Like multiply. What's the meaning of this? Nothing. Unless you have two values to multiply or two variables, it doesn't make any sense, right? So it's, sine is similar to that. Now, how do we find the value? How? Huh? You remember the values, right? But how do you find it? You forget somehow. Let's say you forgot the value. Can anyone tell me how can you find the value? So it is zero. Right? The, the points will coincide. Right? So again, it will not be a triangle. So that's why the value will remain zero. <laughs> okay, one shortcut method that I hate, but I'll still, yeah. Okay. That's, that's how we are going to do it. You just write from 0 to so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And we'll divide it by the greatest number. Which one is the greatest here? 4. We'll divide 4 by throughout by 2. Have you seen this before? How many of you have seen this? Okay. Anyone else? Yes, sir, I've seen it. Okay, good. Now we'll put a square root over. Okay, I, I know. I know. If you want any... No, it's correct. See, it's a shortcut method just to remember values. It's not like uh, we are going to represent functions, all the function with the, this method. That is not correct. Okay. So there is a difference between the, this is just a method we have, this people have find a found to get the values. Okay. If you are asking, is it a correct method? Is it valid everywhere? No, it's not. Okay. I'm just trying to give you a value from 0 to 90 that you can remember. Okay, good. So I'll just put a square root over it. And whatever values you are getting, that's the value of sine theta. But don't worry. See, <coughs> the value of sine theta or any trigonometric function, it's not really important. Why? It's because not really important to remember. It's just things, these values like 30, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Other values like uh, uh, if I'll ask the sign is 14.327 degrees. Do you know the value? You don't know the value, right? There will be a chart you can find values from there. And use, but you need to understand the operations between these trigonometric functions. That will actually you have to eliminate trigonometric functions when you are using that in algebra or in calculus or anywhere. That's how we find the values. Okay, so so the values are not really that of a importance. Of finding the values. Yeah, of course, in the beginning, we study the values, but later on, you will realize the values are not that important. Okay, but these these numbers, these, uh, these angles, 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90, usually we remember these values. Okay, so that we, uh, we can solve problems of our uh, syllabus. Okay, that's what I'll say. So this 0 upon 4 is how much? 0. Square root of 0 is 0. So this will be 0. Oh. Square root of 1 upon 4 is how much? 1 by 2. Right? 
this will be 2 upon 4. So 2 upon 4 is how much? So this is 1 upon 2. So this will be 1 upon square root of 2. Ha, 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 I know. I know that you know. So 4 upon 4, this will be 1. Okay? Yeah. Tell me again. Yeah, of course we have. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> whenever, whenever, uh, if you are getting these values, you, you are saying that uh, this is a method of triangle. Always, you, if if suppose the uh, sign, what do we write sign? Perpendicular upon hypotenuse, right? So hypotenuse is two times the perpendicular. You can also write like that. Okay. If you draw a triangle in which the hypotenuse is twice that of what? The perpendicular. We don't know about base. For for as of now, we don't know about the base. Of course, the base is going to be this. Uh, will, uh, so any triangle we can get like this one. This one is an equilateral triangle, right? Isosceles triangle. So just say any equilateral triangle, will you able to get? There is no hypotenuse in equilateral triangle. All the angles are 60 degrees, right? All the angles are 60 degrees. No? So you, you cannot see in that also we have uh, trigonometric relations, but you need to draw a virtual but, uh, perpendicular to that. That's how we can relate those angles, okay? So those you have studied in triangles, maybe in 10th standard, there, there was a chapter. Not with trigonometry, but with the help of, uh, you know, lines and angles. Uh-huh. Ah, this uh, proofs you have, na, as uh, this, what, what? Triangles you have, no? Triangles. Okay, similarity of triangles. See, similarity of triangles, you will be studying everywhere. Like in optics, you are having that ray diagram. How do you get the formula? It's all geometry, right? So from there only similarity of triangles, equivalent triangles, from there only we, uh, we get. Okay. So you can understand all the physics, physics, whatever equation is there. So all the mathematical equation you can understand. Okay. So sine, I have written. So cos can, you guys write, cos and other functions. Just write down all the other functions. <clears throat> So cos theta will be what? Yeah, so you just reverse it. Okay, you can uh, you can write in this order. Why? There is a reason. Because it's based upon I see when you are drawing a triangle, like you said, if you have let's say this is your hypotenuse, we are taking this value, okay, and this is the perpendicular. That's how we are getting this right, and this angle is obviously thirty degrees. So how much will be this? Because this is 90, so this is going to be root 3. Fine. This is going to be root 3. Now, if, if you're writing cos theta, so cos, uh, cos theta is what? Base upon hypotenuse. Base. See, this is base upon hypotenuse. Right? So base upon hypotenuse. And sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So obviously, the value is going to be interchanged from this side to this side. Because 45 is the bisector, from zero to 90, 45 is the bisector, the value of 45 will remain same. So this will be one upon root two, this will become root three upon two, this will be your one by two, and this is going to be zero and one. That's what we have studied, isn't it? That's what we have studied now, in your first standard, in your 10th standard, right? Intense, we have studied this. Okay. Now, tan is, tan theta is what? Is perpendicular upon base, right? Or you can also write this as sine theta upon cos theta. But we haven't studied this so far. I, I, you guys know this, but I haven't explained this. So anyway, so base, uh, perpendicular upon base, okay? So what we can do is, you can just... What? No, I am comfortable with perpendicular base. Opposite, I don't like it. So I am going to use perpendicular. 
so perpendicular upon base opposite okay <clears throat> so will this is equal to your sin theta upon cos theta right so you'll just divide these two values 0 by 1 is what 1 and ashwin 0 by 1 is 1 right no okay so what is it zero okay so 1 by 2 upon root 3 by 2 is how much 1 by root 3 okay this 1 by root 2 upon 1 by root 3 koshal 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 upon 1 by root 3 is how much 1 x upon x is what 1 fine <clears throat> 1 how much will be this root 3 and this and depend this is not depend because it's 0 uh, 0 by 1 right or 1 by 0 sorry this is 1 1 by 0 so this is not depend 0 by 1 is not defined we don't write infinity because infinity itself is not defined now can we define infinity can you define infinity? yeah we just write it infinity so that we don't have to write not defined not defined like that that's why we write it it's just a symbol of not defined okay now all the other functions you guys can write hopefully all other functions these six function uh, these three functions you can write right you just need to is the opposite so hopefully you you guys can complete this so please complete this table okay not now uh, you complete okay now now let's come to second quadrant in second quadrant we see that x is negative and y is positive fine x x is negative and y is positive now see here x which all involves x say this cos tan uh, your sec and cot these four are uh, have x right x these all have x these are all x well okay so what see will like y sir why do you have to say that? it's fine be cool okay nobody is cool here i don't i don't like you guys <clears throat> anyway so x is ha ah, we can discuss that later x uh, so all these function uh, those who are having x in them right so th that will be negative right goshal now y is sin and cosec is positive because see in sin we have y upon r y is positive in second quadrant see in second quadrant y is positive r is positive all the time okay so positive upon positive will be positive so sin of angle theta and cosec theta are positive all other will be negative what maybe anything ha huh? i think so now in second uh, now in third quadrant x and y both are negative goshal should be like okay both are negative okay hari see uh, i am used to seeing you there now today you are sitting that way so every time i will be like where is it you can come and sit here if you want no you like it there right is it warm it's near near the window you can jump any time i am bored anyway <clears throat> so uh, in third quadrant See, see, third quadrant, both, both x and y, both uh, x and y, both are negative, right? And r is so always positive, right, Nidhi? Aman, right? So x now, see now, see sine in sine we have y upon r, so negative upon positive. R is positive, y is negative, right? So it will be negative. But see, in case of tan, see this is negative upon negative, right? So negative upon negative will be what? positive and that same thing with cot see this is again negative upon negative so this will be positive so tan and cot are the only positive in third quadrant okay so in third quadrant let's write down tan theta and cos theta these will be positive all other trigonometric functions will be negative <coughs> now from this 
this is negative x axis right and this is your how much 180 degree fine so from 90 degree to 180 degree only sin and cosec are positive from 180 degree to this is 270 degree right 270 degree tan and cot are positive now in fourth quadrant so that is 270 to 0 degree or you can say 360 degree right which all are positive see this is po positive and negative now x is positive y is negative now tell me goshal and hari which function will be positive see here what is wrong with this i hate this tab see <clears throat> now y is negative that means this will be negative this this is going to be negative fine yes or no that's my friend don't laugh so this is going to be negative again sec what about sec is it positive or negative are you Five. See, R is positive, X is positive, so this will be positive. What about cot? Huh? Ashwin, negative one. Cot is X upon Y. X is what? Positive. Y is negative. So positive over negative is cot. Elephant. So here we have these two functions. Sorry, you shall answer. Cos theta and and what secant theta are positive. All other trigonometric functions are negative. Let's write down this in radian. So this is pi by two. Ninety is pi by two, right? One eighty is how much? Pi pi over two seventy. Ah. Are you two pi by two pi by three? Are you sure? Just asking how much? Put it down. We are from science. Is not from science. How much? Two seventy. Anyone online? Shakti. How much is two seventy? I think Shakti is there, right? She left. Wow, Murli. She will be like I don't want it. Murli, two seventy is how much in radians? Is like I don't care. I don't give a damn. Is it correct? Is it correct? Two pi by three. Who said two pi by three? Now see why <clears throat> why it is wrong. See when when are you listen? When you say it, you have to understand. See two by three is less than one, right? The ratio is less. and pi is how much? Pi is one eighty degree. So anything lesser from zero to one, if you multiply it by any number, like like zero point five, if you multiply it by two, how much you are getting? One. It you will get a number lesser than that number which you are multiplying, right? So two pi by three. So it will be lesser than pi. This value is going to be lesser than pi now. So if the value is lesser than pi, that means it will belong to second quadrant or first quadrant. Okay. So you have to check that. So this is three pi by two. We shall check it from next time. Don't do this time. Three pi by two. Fine. And three sixty is how much? Answer. Huh? Here, here. Don't look at me. Here. How much? Sunshine. How much is three sixty? Huh? Okay.
360 pi is 180 degrees. 360 is how much? 2 pi. That's up to you guys. Got it? So, so far, this is clear. Where it is positive, where it is negative. This is really important. Now, suppose I'll just give you a uh, hint why it is important. Now, this is, suppose this is 30 degrees. Okay, not, not here. Let's draw a different diagram. Okay, this is theta. Let's understand why we need to understand this. This is x, this is y. Now suppose this is your 45 degree. Point P is at 45 degree. Okay, P is at 45 degree. <clears throat> and uh, we need to find the value of sine here. Okay, so sine 45 is how much? How much? Ashwin. Don't. Okay, so 45 is how much? Pi by 4? Fine. Now, uh, take an angle exactly opposite to this. How much is this angle? Goshal? How much is this angle? How do you find this angle? From here to here. How much? How do you find it? See, from here to here it is 45. And the straight line makes how much angle? 180. So 180 plus 45. Fine. I don't, I'm not going to keep it as equal. So, so this is, this line is 180. And this is again 45 plus 180. That's what you can write. Fine. Ah, what? So uh, 45, 45 plus 180 is how much? 2. 225 degree. Now, if you need to find sine 225 degree, or, or in radians, how much is that? How do we find it? So just do now, pi plus pi by 4. How much is this? See, from, you understand now how, how we are finding it. From here to here, this green line, this is p dash, okay? So p to p dash is what? Pi? See, it will make an angle pi, now. And you, you are adding how much? Because you measure angle from x axis. So we'll add 45 degrees, pi by 4. So this is how much? P dash. How much will be this? Just add these two. How much? 5, pi by 4. In radian, it is 5, pi by 4. You have to You know how to take a right? Please don't I'll, I'll, I'll literally I'll show you from this, this small hole. Saying that you don't know how to take that. She is imagining. Can you fix that? Can you? You want to try? No, but take yourself outside. Don't fix them outside. Okay. Now, what will be the value of sine? How much? Pi pi by two. Let me write like pi pi by two. How much will be the value? It will be same one upon root two, but what is the uh, sign of sign in the third part? Sign is positive or negative? Negative, right? So we'll just put a negative. Okay. So sine pi by four is minus one upon three. That's how we find the value. Now, if it is tan, let's say now we if we find tan forty five, how much is that? One. Fine. Now tan two twenty five will be how much? It will be one because tan is positive in third quarter. It will be one. So that's why we studied uh, we studied all this. Okay, how do we find uh, in which quadrant? Life would be very easy now if it is from zero to ninety degrees. I don't have. Don't do that. Okay, this is recording. We should not say this words. Maybe don't say this. Okay, so I think. Time is up. So tomorrow, what we are going to see is trigonometric functions. Today also we are seeing that. Let, let's, let's just a small topic, trigonometric identity. Okay. okay, I'll write complete. Then, Oh, nice. Good job.
See, in the class, in the beginning of class, what I said, trigonometric identity is fixed. <laughs> identity is something which is fixed to some assigned, let's say, people here. Since when we talk about someone's identity, right? So right now we are talking about the relations between uh, all the trigonometric functions. You are also closing up. You are in such a hurry. Okay. So trigonometric identities is the relation between trigonometric functions, which is always true for all the values of theta wherever it is defined. Okay. So we know this thing at number one, sine theta is always equal to one upon cosec theta. Okay, this is also called trigonometric ratio. Yes, ratios in basically we write perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Opposite of upon hypotenuse. Okay. Opposite. You, you were born opposite. Yeah, everyone is. Am I offending you? Okay, anyway, I don't care. So <clears throat> sine cos theta. Cos theta is what? One by. Do we have anything to kill him? Write down, go. Write down. One upon six theta. Okay, second theta. Number third is tan theta. One by cot theta. We know all this. <coughs> this we can also write as sine theta upon cos theta. Fine. So these, these are trigonometric identities. What else? So we have studied this and we can prove this. For all values of theta, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. This is always true. Okay, always true. Write down here, put a star mark. This is really important. When you are going to see uh, solve engineering level problems, this is going to be your you know, the Brahmas. You know what a Brahmas is? Okay. So this is always true. For all values of theta. <clears throat> okay. For all values of theta, it is true. Got it? Because sine and cos is defined at all points. In next class, we'll see those things. Trigonometric functions, their domain range. Okay, their graphs. In details, we'll see that, and we'll, we'll see how to write the domain and range of okay. So, this identity is always true. What else? Anyone? One plus. Do you want to uh, do you want me to prove this? You can prove it using a triangle. You have studied this, right? That's why I'm just writing so that we can move on. This is equal to how much? Second square theta. Okay. See, this is true wherever the function is defined. We'll see that theta at 90 degrees is not defined. Okay. So we'll exclude that. When we'll see domain and range in next class, that is tomorrow, we'll see those things also. Okay. So that's why I'm not writing for all kinds of theta. It is also always true wherever theta, wherever the function is defined. The last one is. Okay, so same goes with this. Okay, so wherever these trigonometric functions are defined, it is true. So that's why these are called trigonometric identities. Okay, Goshal. Ah, Ashwin, understood? Ari, I'm going really slow, right? Uh, I hope nobody is having that much of trouble. I'm in no trouble. Ah, if the method is different, you can let me know so that you are not getting something in class, or just let me know about it. The thing, the problem starts when you guys don't speak up. Okay. See, so in the society also, it's just general problem. It's everywhere. If you don't speak up, you'll well, you'll face problem all the time. Something happened with you. You have to speak. Okay. You have to take your stand. Okay. Any. Okay. Sometimes you have to be quiet. In such as. See, when we are quiet, we are waiting for our turn. Okay. When we are quiet, we are we are analyzing the situation. See, just don't directly somebody abuse you or something happened or some fight is there or some argument is there. You just don't start arguing uh, argument the 
in the you know uh, to the that person don't start that just think for a while you know you will save a lot of relationships in that so friendship and other relationships yeah of course means any relationship yeah. you you'll save it. A, a lot of things can be saved okay uh so that will be all for the ah, one more sorry see when we are writing square, like cot square theta okay this is re, we read it as cot square theta the meaning is cot theta square okay this is the meaning okay we can okay we you cannot write this as cot square theta square this is not what it means okay this is not the meaning and also this is not the meaning cot theta square okay oh sorry understood this the <coughs> because when we define a trigonometric function it should include the angle okay the meaning is this okay not this not this these two are incorrect don't do that yeah same for all trigonometric for all trigonometric for all trigonometric function fine so we will end the class here and uh, and the assignments have you guys submitted the assignments no. don't be so proud don't be so proud he will be like no sir i haven't done it go do whatever you want see i am not going to do it the assignments are for you guys if you'll do it you'll improve you'll uh, you'll, you'll have a lot of doubts and i with this acha do you guys have any doubt from previous classes is till now and yeah. yeah. What is this? Both both are subs. I thought what is some hand? Uh, I'm not sure. Less than or equal to? No, no, no. See that is. Acha, guys, those who are online, the class is over. If you want, you can leave. I think already everyone has left. No. Thank you, Murli. Sunshine and DAV. I thank. See, this is less than equal to. Sir. Yeah. After this, this lesson, what will be like? Uh, will you teach, sir? What do you want? Just asking, sir. No, no. If I, I, I'll go. If nobody is telling me which, uh, which chapter you guys want, so I'll be continuing with complex numbers. Okay, okay sir okay sir okay sir ha complex i will after this because trigonometric it will take some some more time it will take we haven't solved too many <laughs> problems from this chapter i think i have given some homework also right in that class have you guys solved it no nah, you don't even remember the whole thing i know it's fine see the thing is my job is done if you guys uh yeah it's up to you guys thank you sir okay Okay, Baba, we will meet again tomorrow. I'm on mute. I'm not on mute. Okay. How do we unmute this? Where am I? I'm not mute. But that is other device, sir. Okay, let's see again. Any other problem? So you want to learn even study material from the internet. You can you can solve problems as well. I'm asking some of the problems are quite good to do. Okay. So hopefully, I'll ask you to change the tab. Thank you.